the 21st century, the world's economy is globalizing, and enterprises need to expand their scale to pursue competitiveness. When Taiwan's entire industry development slowly shifted to the ICT industry, there existed an important aspect which had been operating in Taiwan for a century. Here we can showcase its extraordinary qualities as it is local and unique. Generally speaking, everyone thinks that nothing changes for century-old shops. Actually, century-old shops not only have to evolve, they have to change faster than others. There are many old brands in the world, and they grow little by little but never give up. There are many century-old pastry shops, they succeed or fail. The difference is if you can position yourself clearly, and this depends on how you go about doing business. My father was actually very traditional during his time, in that he only wished for one shop, but he had many customers and he was satisfied. For another example of his traditionalism, he did not switch on the air conditioning, even in summer. I observe that this is not uncommon for old shops in Tainan, as these shops do not really think from their customer's point of view, such as providing them a comfortable dining experience, meaning if they can call up a bunch of friends to get together, or even if this restaurant is purely a place to eat and then leave. This process is a huge turnaround. Originating from Tainan, Du Xiaoyue shrugged off its existing image as a typical Taiwanese local delicacy, used many vibrant colors and designs, and injected new life into an old brand. It created a new path for other local Taiwanese delicacies. With new generation creativity, a simple bowl of dense noodles, solid techniques, and an irreplaceable taste that will continue for generations. A famous old cake and pastry brand commercialized its traditional wedding pastries with the goal to establish itself as the master of cakes and pastries. We established Guo Yan Yi Company Limited in 1983 and started CIS integration. The most important thing is that we started using professional managers to manage every aspect of the company. We let those professional managers manage their own departments, integrate everyone's opinions in possible projects, and slowly and continuously implement them in the entire enterprise. I do think that this is a critical aspect that has enabled our enterprise to come this far and also to achieve new heights in the face of challenges despite evolving internal and external environmental factors. Other than the traditional wedding pastries, the wedding gown is another important aspect of this once-in-a-lifetime event. It is also another purchase focus point for the wedding couple. Guo Yun Yi set foot in the wedding gown market, combining diverse business to create even higher profits. Multifaceted business is a must for companies now, so we always assess how capable we are and where our resources are. As we move towards a multifaceted business, the process creates different value addedness. Every product's mission and purpose is different. Tainan's Wu Wan Chun incense shop saw its business thrive in the past, with this locally produced incense exported to Southeast Asia and Japan. The master's mature skills enable bamboo sticks to be repeatedly coated with fragrant and medicinal materials. The sticks are then dried under the sun. This entirely handmade process undoubtedly met with various challenges. Therefore, I hope that this tradition can be kept. However, times are constantly evolving. I can keep up with the packing trends in future, moving towards integrating tradition and modernity. I also want to tell people that Taiwan has many century-old enterprises, even though that does not make any difference to profits. But it is hugely meaningful as we are Chinese people. The bamboo shoot inside, this bamboo stick is also designed by our designer. Our customers just need to buy the set and they no longer need to buy additional incense holders. When you open the incense, just place the bamboo stick on top. Every bamboo stick has it, so he named this Taiwanese-Chinese lying incense. 
Chinese incense is to be placed horizontally, Taiwanese style. If we are to place the incense into an incense holder upright, it will be for praying. But by placing it horizontally, everyone will know that it is just for fragrance. Professor Wu not only repackaged this incense, passed down by family, generation after generation, but also named them Taiwan Chinese incense. This enabled traditional incense to find new creative usage. I think that culture is the most basic aspect of common people's lives, and incense has for the past 400 years remained a daily necessity. If we allow this necessity to continue, it is appropriate to represent Taiwanese culture. However, we give it the most modern packaging and have introduced it to the world. So it is a cultural product that represents tradition and modernity.